Abba Omer Bracha. Father says a blessing. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Bore Pri HaEitz. He says, Blessed are you, God, King of the universe, that creates the fruit of the tree. Then Abba Ochel Pri. Father eats the fruit. Abba Noten Perot La Yeladim. Abba gives fruit to the children. Hayeladim Omrim. The children say, Toda Abba. Thank you, Abba. We move to page 43. Hayeladim Omrim Bracha. The children say a bracha, the same one. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Borei Pri HaEitz. Hayeladim Ochlim Perot. The children eat fruit. Abba lo notem pri lahavhav. Father doesn't give any fruit to havhav. Abba lo notenet pri lahavhav. Father does not give any fruit. I'm sorry, ima. Ima does not give any fruit to havhav either. Havhav lo omer bracha. Havhav doesn't say a blessing. Havhav lo ochel pri. Havhav doesn't eat any fruit. Well, why are they being? Why doesn't Havhav eat any fruit? And why doesn't Havhav say a bracha? I'll tell you why. Because look where I'm pointing. Havhav is the dog. Let's move on. Okay, forty-four. You can do for homework, and let's look at forty-five. Hamotzi. Okay, we did the blessing. Baruch Atarunai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Hamotzi Lechem Min HaAretz. Okay, I've translated that for you. And uh, look over here. Saying a bracha before eating is the Jewish way to praise God and to thank God for the benefits and the enjoyments we get from our food. Write the Hebrew word for blessing. And I think you know how to do that right now. Okay, it happens to be the title or in the title of our story. And there's that delicious challah over there. See the challah? Mmm. That is wonderful. We have that on Shabbat and Yom Tov. And these other pages are things you can work on at home. Okay, it's just reinforcing what I've just taught you on 46 and 47. And practice your reading on 48. And your comprehension and translation abilities on 49 and 50. And let's learn a few blessings over here on 51. These brachot thank and praise God for giving us good things to eat and enjoy. Practice reading the brachot. So it's good to know these for when you eat bread, when you drink grape juice or wine. So here we are. We've done the one over the bread already. Let's do the one over the wine. Baruch ata Adonai. Eloheinu melech haolam, bore pri hagafen. We've done the one for the fruit already. There's another one here for vegetables. Baruch ata Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, bore pri haadama. So you'd say that on a carrot or a cucumber or a squash. How about blessings over cake and cookies? Mmm. Baruch ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Borei Minei Mezonot. And then, and one more. Baruch ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam She'akol Nihye Bidvara. That you say for all different kinds of things like meat, fish, eggs, cheese, milk, fruit, fruit juices, water, many different things. And we move right on into lesson Vav, the sixth lesson. Moshe Vidalia, Moses and Dalia. Boker, it's morning time. Moshe Yeled Gadol. Moshe is a boy, big, literally. He's a big boy. Moshe Omea Bracha. Moshe says a blessing. Moshe Ochel Pri. Moshe eats fruit. Moshe Omer Shalom Abba. 
Moses says, hello, Abba. Shalom. Actually, it looks like they're saying goodbye, right? Yes, it looks like they're saying goodbye. Shalom, Abba. Shalom, Ima. Bye, Dad. Bye, Mom. Ani holech leveta sefer. I'm going to school. Ima v'abba omrim, Shalom, Moshe. Mother and father say, Bye, Moses. Dalia yaldak dola. Dalia is a big girl. Dalia omeret bracha. Dalia says a blessing. Dalia ochelet lechem. Dalia eats lechem, bread. Dalia omeret, Shalom, Ima. Dalia says, Bye, Mom. Shalom, Abba. Bye, Dad. Ani holechet leveta sefer. I'm going to school. Ima v'abba omrim. Shalom, Dalia. Bye, Dalia. Dalia u'moshe holchim leveta sefer. Dalia and Moshe go to school. And look at the words to practice over here. Beit sefer, boker, gadol, or gdola, holech, holechet, and v or u for and. And we'll see how we get a little more done before we run out of time. You could do 54 and 55 at home, as well as 56 and 57. All things just reinforcing what we've talked about. In 58, you have a little crossword puzzle. On 59, uh, you practice your reading. It has many of the words that we've practiced, that we've learned. And uh, same thing for 60 and 61. And it brings us to Shi'ur uh, Sheva, the seventh lesson, Shi'ur Zion. And it, the title of our lesson is Ruti Lo Holechet Leveta Sefer. And I'll just do as much as I can before we run out of time. Boker, it's morning time. Moshe Ha'ach Shel Ruti. Moshe is the brother of Ruti. So in proper English, Moses is Ruti's brother. Moshe holech leveta sefer. Moshe goes to school. Dalia ha'achot shel Ruti. Dalia is the sister of Ruti. And um, we'll have just 30 seconds here. Dalia holechet leveta sefer. Dalia goes to school. Ha'ach ve'ha'achot shel Ruti holchim leveta sefer. Okay, so Ruti's brother and sister go to school. Who do you think um, the brother and sister are? Look at the picture. Okay, there they are. That's the brother and sister. And here's the little girl that you're going to see next time that wants to go to school as well. But the mama is saying, no, no, no. You're too little. You're not ready to go to school yet. So... That ends our lesson for today. I am Rabbi Shaul Praver, Rabbi of Congregation of Doth Israel. Thank you for tuning in for our Hebrew lesson. This is for our fourth grade curriculum. Shalom. Thank you, oh God, we praise you as you live.